In this lecture, we are going to learn about another conditional statement in JavaScript called switch statement. The switch statement is another conditional statement which is used to perform different actions based on different conditions. So we have already talked about if conditional statement. We talked about if else. We also talked about if else letter. Finally, let's also talk about switch statement, which is also a conditional statement. And we can use switch statement to replace if else ladder. Let's try to understand it with an example. So to understand switch statement here, first I have written an if else ladder. So what we are doing is we are prompting the user to enter the weekday. Let's say weekday starts from zero. So zero stands for Sunday, one stands for Monday, two stands for Tuesday and so on. And six stands for Saturday. So let's say the user has entered four. So that four will be assigned to this day variable. Now we are checking if day is equal to equal to one. So day is storing a value for four. It is not equal to one. So this condition will return false. We will check the next condition day equal to equal to two. This will also return false. The next condition will be checked day equal to equal to three. This condition will also return false. The next condition will be checked day equal to equal to four. So this day variable, it is storing a value for four is equal to four. This condition will return true. In that case, this code block will be executed. And when this code block will be executed, this message should be logged in the console and rest other conditions should not be checked. So rest other code blocks will not get executed. So if you save the changes and if I enter four here and if I click on OK button, that four will be assigned to this day variable. The condition will be checked here. This condition will return true. And since this condition will turn true, this code block will be executed and it will log today is Thursday. So you can see in the console today is Thursday is logged. So this is how if else letter work. Now we can change this if else letter and we can write it using switch statement. Let's see how we can do that. So to use switch statement, first of all, we use switch keyword followed by a set of parentheses. And in this parentheses, we write a JavaScript expression. That JavaScript expression can return any value. It can return a numeric value. It can return a Boolean value. It can return a string value. So any value it can return. It's not mandatory that the expression which we are going to write in these parentheses, it should only return a Boolean value. That is not mandatory here. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this day variable, which is going to store a value. It is going to store weekday number. So let me pass this day variable here. And after this, we need to write a set of curly braces like this. And inside these curly braces, we are going to write multiple cases. So here we are going to check case one. Now this one here, it is not a numbering. It is basically the case value. Okay, so for example, your case value can also be a or maybe hello. So it can be any value. It is not numbering here. I'm using one here, but this one is not numbering here because this day it is going to store a weekday number and that weekday number can be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So this case value here, it is that value. It is not numbering here. After this case value, we need to use a colon and then we can write the code which we want to execute when this case value is equal to the value stored in this expression in this day variable. So what do we want to do when this day variable is storing one? In that case, we want to log a message in the console saying that today is Monday. OK, and then we are also going to use a break statement. Now we have not talked about break statement yet. We will talk about it in great detail and here why we need to use break statement that also I will explain you in a bit. So this is our case one. Now let's also write another case case two. So a weekday number can also store a value two. So when the weekday number is two, in that case, we want to log another message. And here we want to say today is Tuesday. And then we want to break in the same way. Let's also write other cases.
okay then if this day value is neither storing one two three four or five then we want to execute a default case so for example in if else letter when none of these condition matches what we do is we execute this else code so this else code will be executed when none of the above condition matches so in this case this else is the default condition so if none of the condition matches above in that case the else code block gets executed in the same way here also if none of the case value matches the value stored in this expression in our example in this day variable we might want to execute a default case and to write a default case we use this default keyword and after that we specify the code which we want to execute for default case so here we want to say today is weekend okay and after this default also we need to use a colon all right and this default will always come in last after all the cases it should not come in between now here what will happen is let's say let me go ahead and let me comment this if else letter here okay let's scroll down so here what will happen is let's say when this application will run first of all it is going to show a prompt window to the user user will enter a week number let's say the user has entered four so that four will be assigned to this day variable and we are passing this day as an expression to this switch statement so this day it is storing four now four is not equal to one so this case will fail four is also not equal to two this case will also fail four is not equal to three this case will also fail then four it is equal to four in this case this case will return true or you can say this case will match so the case value here which we are specifying matches the value stored in this day variable so in that case this code will be executed and when this code will be executed it will log this message in the console today is thursday and it will break from here so rest other cases will not be checked okay now remember that when we use switch statement there the comparison is done strictly that means the data type and the value of the case must match the data type and the value of the expression in this case we are specifying a variable here so whatever value this variable is going to store its data type as well as the value should match the case data type and its value here if you notice the data type of these values will be number because we are using them as number right these are numeric values if i wrap it within single quote or double quote like this in that case it will be a string value but currently here if i don't wrap it within single quote or double quote it will be a numeric value right so the case values are number types so the value which we are going to store inside this day variable its data type also must match the case data type then only it will work currently if i save the changes if i enter 4 here this 4 will be read as a string value from here so this prompt it is going to return this 4 as a string value so in this day variable if i click on ok this day it is going to store a string value 4 and that's why you will see that here we are saying today is weekend because none of the case will match here we have not written any case for string 4 we have a case for number 4 but we don't have any case for string 4 so in that case none of these case value matches so in that case this default case is getting executed and it is logging today is weekend so before checking the value what we are going to do is we are also going to convert this state to number type and for that we can simply use plus in front of it like this so when we are using plus in front of this day variable it is going to store a number value as a string this plus operator will convert that string value to a number type and then the comparison will happen so now here this expression it is going to store a number value now if i reload the page so let me first save the changes here and now if i enter 4 and if i click on ok now you see it is logging today is thursday if i enter 3 
it is logging today is wednesday because this expression here it is going to return three so this first case will not match this second case will not match this third case will match the value for this case is three and that value matches the value which this expression is going to return and it not only matches the value it also matches the data type so here this expression is going to return a numeric value and here also we are comparing with a number three so the data type also matches here that's why this case matches and this code is getting executed i hope you got the point now why are we using break statements here let's try to understand that and to understand that what i'm going to do is i am going to comment these break statements let's save the changes and now if i enter three here and if i click on ok you see now it is logging today is wednesday today is thursday today is friday and today is weekend now why is that that's because when we entered three that three was stored in this day variable it was stored as string three so when we are specifying this expression here that string three will be converted to number three and that number three will be checked with these case values so the number three is not equal to number one so this case will fail number three is not equal to number two this case will also fail but number three is equal to this number three so this case will return true in that case this console.log statement will be executed and it will log today is wednesday but after that we don't have any break statement so here what will happen is other cases will also get checked in fact it will not check for the case values it will execute all other case codes so after this line will be executed this code will also get executed because we have not used any break statement so next case code will also get executed then here also next case code will be executed and this default case code will also get executed if you don't use break statement but here after this case 4 if i use break if i save the changes if i again enter 3 you see now it is logging today is wednesday today is thursday because this case will return true it will match this expression value so this case will return true it will log today is wednesday after that we do not have any break statement so next case code will also get executed today is thursday but after that we have this break statement so from here this switch code block will be exited so other cases will not be checked and their code will not get executed i hope you got the point and that's why using this break statement is very important when you want to execute only a piece of code based on the case value if you don't use the break statement whichever case will match after that all the cases code will be executed if we are not using the break statement so that's why using break statement is very important so what this break statement does is after executing the code for that particular case it basically breaks out of the switch statement so none other cases will be checked and its code will be executed another thing using case what you can do is you can execute a single code for multiple cases so basically you can group some of the cases together so for example let's say what we want is if day number value is one or two or three or four or five we want to say we want to log a message today is weekday but if the weekday number is zero or six we want to say today is weekend so we can group multiple cases together let's see how we can do that so here i'm going to remove this code this code also this code also and this code also so here what we are saying is if this day value is one or two or three or four or five so if this day value is storing any one of these values then we want to execute this code and here we will say today is a weekday something like this then let's also add another cases let's say case 6 and case 0 so if this day is storing a day number 6 or 0 in that case we want to log today is weekend okay and after that we will also break but if the day variable is storing a weekday number 
less than 0 or greater than 6, then in that case, we will log a message. Weekday number is not correct. Because weekday number should be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So we have 7 days in a week and let's say the weekday starts from 0. So Sunday is 0, Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, Wednesday is 3 and so on and Saturday is 6. So any number less than 0 or greater than 6 will not be considered as a weekday number. So in that case, we will simply log this message. Weekday number is not correct. So now if I save the changes and if I enter 2, 2 means it is a weekday. So you see it says today is a weekday. If I enter 4, so 4 is also weekday because 4 is for Thursday. So in that case also it says today is weekday. But if I enter 6, 6 is for Saturday and Saturday is a weekend. So if I click on OK, it says today is weekend. But if I enter any number which is less than 0 or greater than 6, for example 8, it should say weekday number is not correct. So here we are grouping multiple cases together. So for these 5 cases, we want to execute the same code. And for these 2 cases, we want to execute the same code. All right. Now here, very important point which you need to remember is that when the case value is checked with the expression value, there the data type as well as the value is compared. Only value is not compared. Both data type and value is compared. So basically, the comparison is done using strict equality check. This is very important to understand. Otherwise, you might introduce some bug in your code. This is all about switch statement in JavaScript. We will use these conditional statements a lot in our coming lectures. So that's why understanding these conditional statements is very important. So if you have any questions related to switch statement or any other conditional statement, then feel free to ask it. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.